This is Planet Pulse for Wednesday, January 26th. The moon is in Scorpio today. I'm Jeff Jower. And I'm Rick Levine. I notice how every now and then when you say the moon is in Scorpio, your whole demeanor turns slower and darker. Yes. I'm (laughs) trying to personify the intensity of the sun. The controlled intensity. Scorpio is not just intense. I mean, it can, yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Um, Scorpio is not just intense. It has a sense of controlled intensity because often with Scorpio, it's not about the energy that's being expressed. It's about the energy that's being expressed as gaining power from what's not being expressed. There's that secret of hidden element to Scorpio. Yeah, that's a good point. And yet it contrasts with the Sun and Mars in Aquarius today. Aquarius, which is oddly enough an air sign of the mind and communication, um, represents a kind of open friendliness, few boundaries and barriers. And yet that moon in Scorpio forms a third or last quarter square to the sun, Mm -hmm. which says our emotional desires, perhaps secret and hidden though they may be, are in contrast to our higher ideals as represented by the sun in Aquarius. Yeah, and actually we're coming up to a Sun-Mars conjunction. The sun and Mars are moving along together now in Aquarius, and they're kind of not quite moving at the same speed but nearly so and as such the moon not only squares the sun the third quarter square to the sun but it's also squaring to mars and so we're getting that that sense of scorpio and aquarius are both fixed signs and so there's a sense of rigidity and maybe even stubbornness but one is about what we're feeling it's our emotions that's the scorpio side and the other is what we know and what we're going to do because that's the mars tracking the sun in Aquarius. And I think that we may be a bit stuck today, not quite knowing how to move the energy from these two positions that are both very certain in their own space, but not necessarily with each other. Yeah, the key may be in recognizing whether you're coming from your ideals in your head or whether you're coming from just raw instinct and emotion. Both have their place. It's moving between one and the other and really understanding what's motivating behavior that can make this a constructive rather than a destructive kind of day. I'm Jeff Jower. And I'm Rick Levine reminding you that Jeff and I are here every day to share the pulsing planets with you on Planet Pulse.